You are the one who survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. But as you can see, fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. On statues, doorways. Wherever a memory will allow itself to live on. Now you know what we have suffered. But as I said before, you are not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan, the King of Albion. Seems your big brother's been keeping secrets. He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? Until about four years ago. He too faced the Crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived thanks to our care. He left with a promise that he would return with an army and save us from the Crawler. We never saw him again. King Logan did not cause this, but he did nothing to stop it. Now I ask that you do what he would not. Ben Finn has told us of your quest, of your revolution. There are not many warriors left among us, but we have ships. And we are willing to fight beside you. Not because your brother wronged us. Nor because we thirst for revenge. But because we want protection. We require aid if we are to survive. That is the promise you must make. Help us to rebuild Aurora. And allow it to become a true part of your kingdom. Not a colony. Not a thing to be used. But a place with a voice in your court. Will you make this promise? I promise. Then let us go to war. You have survived a terrible ordeal, but you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your brother. It is time for you and Walter to gather your allies and take Bowerstone Castle. How is he? Is he gonna make it? I do not know. The darkness is deep within him. Few ever wake. But he's improving. I mean, you're doing your thing and he's getting better, right? I do not wish to give you false hope. Perhaps it would be better if we allowed him to rest. Don't worry. He's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. <coughs> Walter? Oh, balls to you all. You're not burying me just yet. See? I told ya! Yes. Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. I'm sorry I left you all. You did all you could. And don't think I don't know it. I told you you'd make me proud. Well, we didn't exactly find the army we were hoping for. And I feel about a hundred years older than when we left, but we're finally ready. You've surpassed every hope I had for you. You're the king Albion needs. So come on. It's time to gather your generals and prepare for battle. You know, maybe I'll take a little nap first.
troopers down this route and blow up the West Barracks. It will draw their attention and open up the main route. How's that better than my idea? We will live longer than a few seconds. Oh, well, now you're just picking holes. Give it up, boy. What I want to know is what my men need to do. That's for the future king to decide. Paige knows the city best. We'll follow her plan. Fine. I only put mine forward to annoy her anyway. I see you've really matured on your travels. If you'll look at the map, we can go through the details. My ships will take you to the beach here. We can expect heavy mortar fire, but most of Logan's soldiers will be busy dealing with Paige and her men. I want to be in the thick of the smoke and the fire and the glory. If Paige takes the west route, it's only fair I take the east. Which leaves the center to us. <laughs> Less chance of getting lost. Then we're agreed. Are you sure you're up to this, Walter? Oh, don't worry about me. I may feel old and tired, but the day hasn't come yet when I can't charge into a good old-fashioned fight. Let the battle for Albion begin! shreds out there. They need our help. We need to take care of that mortar. We've already lost one ship. Kaylin's confused. Come on.
rover and ship should be able to move in closer now. you've ever had? <laughs> Sabine, you almost blew us up. You saw a glorious beacon of freedom burning in the night for all the... <laughs> what is it, Boulder? Oh, bloody hell. Move! Move! It'll take more than a grenade to finish off that old sod. Meanwhile, let's do what he says and get moving, shall we?
bet you've been wanting to do that for a long time. What we need are explosives, but I used mine up on the way here. If only we knew some sort of tiny, crazy old man who enjoyed blowing things up. <laughs> Did you see that order? Let the whole city bow to our thunder. Hang on. How did you get to the other side in the first place? Dwellers have their ways, my boy. Is there anyone left to kill? There will be soon. More troops are on the way. Kalian's fleet got a fair few, but not all. We'll hold them off. Come on, Balder, there's more fighting to be done. Good luck in there. Hope the crown fits. Let's finish this for good, while I can still stand up on my own. Knock? No. Let's surprise him. So, this is how it ends. The old fool and the child who ran away. you finally become the man I always wanted you to be. He's a lot more than that, and now he's ready to take your place. Perhaps the time has come for someone else to lead Albion. You were never a leader, just another tyrant. Did it ever occur to you that I may have had good reason to be? We're not interested in your reasons. Cower behind ignorance if you will. But my brother deserves to know the truth. Save it for the trial, Logan. You can beg for your life then.
There he is. The King of Albion. You've made it. Just like I always knew you would. It doesn't get any easier, though. You have a country to run now. And with Jasper busy in the sanctuary, you'll need a new personal aid. Someone who can keep you organized. Let me introduce you to... Hobson. Hobson's the name, Your Majesty. May I say what an extraordinary honor it is to serve you. I have a vast wealth of experience, I assure you, though I have yet to experience vast wealth. <laughs> that, Your Majesty, is an example of the sense of humor which will no doubt make our time together such a delight. No doubt. Well, I'll leave you two to get better acquainted. I should begin preparations for the trial. The trial, of course. The very first item on today's agenda. Among my other qualities, I am well-versed in toadying, public relations, and time management. And I heartily believe the key to being a successful king is following a well-scheduled royal agenda. If you will permit me, here are today's appointments. I'm sure you will do a marvelous job presiding over your brother's trial, which, as I said, will be your very first royal duty. Your subjects await in the throne room for what is sure to be an historic occasion, Your Majesty. Stand to attention for the King of Albion. Logan, former King of Albion, you stand accused today of crimes against the kingdom and its people. Those who brought you to justice will now speak. There's not a soul alive in the kingdom who hasn't suffered for his glory and plenty who've died for it. I says, let him have some death of his own. Look, I'm not one for lopping people's heads off, but we saw Major Swift executed, like it was a bloody circus act. He deserves nothing less as far as I'm concerned. But aren't we better than that? Isn't that why we fought to be here now? I've seen what Logan has done to this city. People starving to death, children forced to work, but killing him now won't solve anything. It is not my place to decide his fate, but his betrayal condemned many of my people to death. He promised us salvation and then left us to face the darkness alone. I had good reason to break that promise, and I had good reason for the crimes you claim I committed. The day I returned to Albion, I received a visit from a blind seer, Teresa, our father's guide. She showed me the future of this kingdom. The darkness in Aurora is coming here, bringing death, destruction, the end of our way of life. The sacrifices I had to make, I did them to protect Albion. If a few had to suffer, it was to build an army. If a few had to die, it was to save a country. I have spent years preparing for this attack. Let me stand by your side now, and all my soldiers will be yours to command. Let us face the coming darkness, together. If this is true. If it's really coming here, we are all in grave danger. You have the power over life and death, brother. Now choose. Your brother's fate is in your hands. The choice is... You can't escape punishment for what you've done, Logan. I sentence you to death. The king has made his decision. Logan will pay for his crimes against the people of Albion. With his life.
You have fulfilled the first part of your destiny. You were little more than a child when you left the castle. You have become a hero, a leader, and now, finally, a monarch. But your journey is not yet done. Now you are king. You can know the truth. Albion will soon be attacked, and the threat could not be greater. Darkness is coming to our land. It cannot be reasoned with, it cannot be halted. The ruler of Albion is all that stands between the world we inhabit and that darkness. That is why you had to take your brother's place. The course of history demands it. If you do not succeed, everything we know will come to an end. Why didn't you tell me all this at the start? It was never about Logan, was it? I told you what you needed to know, and I never spoke anything but the truth. With Logan on the throne, Albin would have been doomed. This much I know. Only with a hero wearing the crown do we stand a chance of survival. And how do I stop it? You won't. Its arrival is inevitable. One year from now, the darkness will fall upon Albion. All you can do is prepare and hope to save as many of your people as you can. How you do so is up to you. Two paths lie ahead. You may keep the promises you have made and be known as a benevolent ruler, but understand that doing so will leave little to spend on the kingdom's protection and may lead you to disaster. It is not easy to be popular and keep the treasury full unless you are willing to sacrifice your personal wealth, but you may also choose to break those promises to harm your people in order to save them. You will not lack the means to build the army you need, but you will be hated. This path will cast you in the role of a tyrant, as it did your brother. You have one year to do what Logan could not. Be the ruler that readies Albion for the greatest threat it has ever faced, and be the hero that can stand against it. Your Majesty, I'm not sure what to say after receiving such news. The darkness that is coming. People won't understand what it means. Nobody could, without living through it first. We need to prepare. If we can't stop the attack from happening, we have to be ready when it comes. You will need to raise a fortune to pay for the army we'll need. Hobson will show you the treasury, and I'm sure he can explain just how to fill it. Indeed I can. Then I will leave you to it. Ben and I will begin recruiting and training soldiers at once. If you will...